Hello everyone, I am Xerix Lord Sentinel, and this is the defense of St. Helens, a pirate's deathmatch scenario. I will be treating cannonballs with A7X Fanben once again, as I played as the attacker, and he defended. The full details for the defense of St. Helens can be found in the description below. We would both be fielding custom fleets, with my attackers consisting of my custom Ionic faction, the Vapora, with Amakav, Akar, and Kina, Kazi, and Onua, the Krali, with Jiri, Noxa Heliorix and a Helmsman, the Kaita, with Tahu, Pohatu, Doom, a Helmsman, and Cannoneer, and the Shakailam, with a Captain. My Ionics would attempt to get past Ben's Cursed Fleet and the bevy of forts arrayed against them, Hell's Vortex, with the Demon King, Disciples of Lucifer, Gouging Spear, and Helmsman, the Hell Rising, with King Cavendish, El Phantasma from Rise of the Fiends, Skull Reaper, a Helmsman, and Oarsman along with the Tower of Cenosis, Mors Castellum, Council of Fiends, and the Kingdom of Horrors. Stats for all ships, crew, and forts can be found in the description. My fleet had 15 turns to get past the defenders and angled north, to avoid Mors Castellum to the south and hopefully stay out of range of the Tower of Cenosis. The Hell Rising and Vortex both moved toward their gates, with the Rising waiting just outside of her respective gate. Realizing that my own ships could wind up harming my chances at victory, I split them up even more. The Kaita had early success with her same action twice, and so sailed out ahead of the others. The Vortex and Rising positioned themselves in anticipation of the Ionic advance. The Kaita succeeded again with her same action twice, and drew a firing line on the closed gate and the Council of Fiends fort. Before taking shots at the gate, the Kaita leveled the fort in one shoot action. She then used her extra action to hit the defending gate four times, weakening it severely. The rest of the fleet was beginning to catch up, with the Crawley and Shikalim coming up behind the Kaita, while the Vapora sailed south, where her ability will not affect her fleet mates. The Vortex enters the middle section of the map while the Rising positions herself to potentially deal with the Vapora. The Kaita downs the North Gate and sails forward tentatively, aware of the destructive power of the Cursed. The Crawley is slower and brings up the rear, with the Shekylum farther behind, locking any fancy crew. The Vapora has scored two hits on the middle gate. The Vortex moved north and crippled the Kaita, taking her down to two masts. The Rising then got in on the action, crossing the bow of the Kaita and boarding her. The Rising had several boarding bonuses stacked up and won handily, using the Skull Reaper to capture Doom. She then attempted to sink the Kaita with cannons, but had dismal day, hitting only once to eliminate a mast. With only one mast remaining and surrounded, I decided the best course of action was to ram headlong into the Hell's Vortex. Tahu fired off the ship's last cannon which hit, giving the Vortex a fire mast. The ram attempt, however, was a failure. The Crawley managed to get one cannon in range of the Rising, eliminating a mast. Meanwhile, the lagging Shekylum was hit twice by the Tower of Cenosis, and the Vapora continued to have dismal shoot actions against the middle gate. Multiple sources of fear kicked in, disabling the Kaita's crew and ship abilities, while the Crawley's base move was reduced to S. Not moving and putting out her fire easily, the Vortex dismasted the Kaita. Using her sim action twice, the Rising got into position and sank the Kaita while damaging the Crawley. Moving again, the Rising sailed starboard to the Crawley and brought her down to two masts standing. The Shakaya moves into position and fires on the Hell Rising but misses. This forced the Crawley to come to the aid of the Shakaya and use her cans to dismast the Rising. Meanwhile, the Vapora has finally broken down the middle gate and sails into the middle section of the map. The Vortex easily stinks the Crawley, cutting the Ionic fleet in half. The Shakaya moved into position and used her stern cannons and long range to sink the Hell Rising, whose eternal kicks in, sending her back to the ship's spawn point. She then used her bow cannon to eliminate a mast in the Hell's Vortex. The Vapora moved to avoid the cannon fire from the center fort, positioning herself by the south gate landing two hits on it. The Vortex takes care of the Shekylum, dismasting her, while the Rising attempts to repair as quickly as possible. The Vapora continued to underperform with her cannons, 
landing only three more hits on the gate, even with the re-roll crew on board. The Vortex positions to attack the Vapora, while the Rising repairs another mast. The Vapora succeeds at her extra action, knocking down the gate and sailing through. Realizing the Vortex will be unable to stop the Vapora unaided, the Rising ceases repairing and moves to cut off the Vapora at the final gate. The Vortex attempts to close the distance between the two ships, but has her captain cancelled. The Vapora succeeded at her extra action and put some distance between herself and the Vortex, leaving only the final gate and the damaged and very much mortal Hell Rising to stand in her way. The Rising breaks off partially, waiting for her same action twice to kick in so she can inflict maximum damage, while the Vortex begins to catch up with a move action. With another successful extra action, the Vapora clears the final gate, opening the way for victory. The Hell Rising got her SAT and wheeled about, and managed to bring both of her cannons to bear. Unfortunately, she missed twice. The Vapora succeeded with her extra action again, eliminating the Hell Rising for good, and then sailed across the Golden Mile to win the game. Despite Unnumber's advantage in knocking the first gate down easily, the curse mounted a mighty defense, and for a while I figured I would be on the losing end, especially after the Crawley and Kaita were sunk. However, the Ionics prevailed yet again, making them now 2-0 in games I've used them in. If you want to see what I do next, make sure you're subscribed. If you liked what you saw, hit that like button. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time.